hey guys this is Joel here from Joel websites in today's video I'm going to show you how to gradually increase volume in Adobe Premiere Pro so this audio effect is going to be really useful for background music um, where you try to fade in some music or you try to fade out some music so this gives a really professional effect in your videos um, instead of just stepping the volume down uh, in steps you can smoothly and gradually increase or decrease the volume using this effect so um, stay tuned guys for the video so guys first of all you'll have to I'll show you by creating a new project okay so I'm going to go to new project um, this is they asking me whether I should change uh, save my current project and so I'm clicking yes okay so now type in a name for your new project so I'm just going to put in my new project okay keep saying simple okay so first of all I'm going to include some files in my project so I'm going to drag and drop my video file in the project so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sequence on the clip so this is my video file that I'm going to insert I'm going to right click and create a new sequence on the clip okay fine so now the next step is to import your music so in I'm going to include some free music that I downloaded this is a song that I really like the name is beat your competition okay so I'm going to include the music in my project okay so now let me preview the changes okay so you'll get an idea hey guys today I'll be telling you how to score so this okay so um, the thing I'm going to show you is how to gradually decrease the volume okay so I'm going to decrease the volume for the beat your competition song which I included as uh, that I'm going to use as background music okay so if you go to see the <coughs> settings if you just put it as it is and you cut some unwanted part of the music then this is how the video will look okay um, in real time okay so you see that the music has just stopped all of a sudden so the the music is not stopping gradually so what I want to do is to stop the music gradually so the next step is going to be adding the vid the voice effect so what you got to do is type the volume effect v o l u m e okay so under audio effects you will see volume so what i'm going to do is, do is drag and drop it on the music track okay that the background music okay so now i've applied, I've applied the effect but still we need to do some more things um, I'm going to go to the effect control section in my um, Adobe Premiere Pro okay so now I'm going to click on this toggle eye animation um, I've, you see that there's the volume effect here so um, if you expand this you won't see anything much you will just see the total volume okay if you click on this toggle animation you can see a small clock over here next to the level uh, where it's written level so just click on that and then it will ask you to set the volume in the current position so the current position in the time in the time panel is over here at around 14 or 13 seconds or 12 seconds or something okay 
so what you got to do is you got to click the time animation and it will add a um, key position okay and then when you what you got to do is uh, forward your uh, the video you can even use this thing to forward the video and here you need to enter in the value for the next position so the you have to just toggle this okay so I'm going to decrease our volume so I'm going to hold it using the mouse and drag my mouse towards the left hand side okay so I made it minus 42 decibels so now let's preview the now let's preview the audio and the video so now you see you see as the music is playing the number is gradually getting decreased okay so let us see it again Okay, so I'll explain it once again very quickly. First of all, you have to add the video volume effect in Adobe Premiere Pro to your audio track. You have to drag and drop it. Okay. Next step is to click on the toggle animation and then set the initial volume for the volume track. Okay, and then the next step is you have to forward the video a bit and then type uh, and then you need to set another volume that is I have set it as minus 42 decibels okay so I hope you have understood now I am going to show you how to increase the volume gradually okay so let me undo the the thing the effects that whatever I have done you can delete it from here by right click clear or you can either press ctrl z for deleting or undoing so I'm going to click on clear for now. So I'm going to So guys, now I'm going to show you how to gradually increase the volume. Before I showed you how to gradually decrease the volume. So now I'm going to show you how to gradually increase the volume. Okay. So the first thing we got to do is type in volume in the effects panel. Then drag and drop the effect. Okay. Then select our first key position okay so i'm going to select this as the first key position this is the first key position next thing we got to do is to decrease the volume because um you can keep it as zero i'm keeping it as zero for now because or you can keep it in minus it is as per your convenience okay once you have i'm going to keep it as I'm going to change it a bit because then it will um, we are going to select the toggle animation okay once we uh, make some changes I'm going to keep it zero I'm clicking on toggle animation okay so we have added the first keyframe so now I'm going to I'm going to go to the second keyframe and click on this um, reset thing okay so now we have got a second key frame uh, we have got a second key position over here i hope you are able to see it so then we got to increase the volume for this one okay so i have increased it to six decibels so now when you preview the track let's see what happens Hey guys, so now the currently the volume is um, zero decibels. It is uh, the audio gain is set to zero decibels. Okay. So once it reaches the first key position, the volume should gradually increase. We 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 will able to see it using this panel. Uh, the number displayed over here. So this. ok 
okay so we see that the volume was increased from zero decimals to six decibels so i hope this video was to uh, the video tutorial was helpful to you if you think that this video was really helpful for you don't forget to give a thumbs up and just leave a comment below saying that it the video has helped you out so um, stay tuned for many more videos like this and subscribe to my channel if you haven't bye bye guys and take care